night. It's a beautiful night. Kind of night. I mean, you can still almost see, night. Like, like the sun over there. Getting to be night. We're stuck in uh, traffic on the 15 uh, freeway heading northbound. Um, so we're going to continue our adventure here on the way to Las Vegas. So I got a question for you. Yes. As you're driving. Can I zoom out more? Because I'm like right up on your face. Uh, question is, when you go to Las Vegas, what do you, what, what do you like to drink? Like, mm. what, what, how to pose this question? I mean, everyone, when you go to like your local watering hole or you're at home or whatever, everyone's got like, oh, I like to have this type of beer or I like to have this or I like that or whatever. But when you go to Vegas, it seems like everyone kind of mixes it up. Like, yep. like you don't go and just, um, like, oh, I'll get a Bud Light. Like, what the fuck? No, no, no. Like, you don't, you don't do something like that. So, what, what, what do you like to drink, and why? Um, is going to be the question. Usually, the way that I like to do it, which uh, the guy said that they were gonna, we were going to do anyways, I like to start by when we get there. I always like to either have like a juice or a four loco to kind of jump start the jump start the night. Okay. Well, especially when they had the um, had the. Uh, What's it called? Energy in it. Yeah. All the ginseng and all that shit. After that, um, really, I take whatever until I get buzzed. But once I actually get into the casino and I'm either gambling or ordering a drink or whatever, there's basically only two drinks that I order in Vegas. Okay. Um, sorry, three. Uh, one, if I am really drunk and can't remember what to order. My first thing goes to a rum and coke. Okay. That's usually my... If That's uh, like generic default A. Yeah, that's, that's you know, what do you want to drink? Uh, rum and coke. That's my drunken go-to. If I really think about it, I like a zombie. That's like my favorite drink in the world. Okay. Or um, if I like switching... If I feel like switching it up, I will go to a kamikaze. Okay. Because those fuck you up. Yeah. Um... Now, the drinks or the shots? Uh, drinks. Uh, uh, drinks, because they last drink? longer. Yeah. But, uh, ah, Pearl Hava! Let's see. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> the zombie, I mean, I don't even know what's in it. I know it's a shitload of rum and other stuff, mm-hmm. but it's, I don't know, to me, it's like the most tastiest drink, but man, does it fuck you up, too. Well, zombie's got everything in it, yeah, too. it's got everything. Because a zombie, let me pick my brain here, it's going to be, uh... I know it's got, what, like three different rums or two different rums. It's got, like, the dark and the light. Yeah, no, it's, it's got three. So, you're looking at, you've got uh, your vodka. Okay. you got tequila. Uh-huh. Um, hold on. Vodka, tequila, Isn't it like gin. Gin as well? Yeah. Wow. Vodka, tequila, gin, um, and then Bacardi Silver, Bacardi Gold. Then you've got your sweet and sour and pineapple juice, and then you float 151 on top of it. So, there's... Six alcohols mm-hmm. in that. Yep. Now, how much per drink, like per uh, alcohol? Like, what what is it on the rum? Like, how much rum, how much Bacardi Gold and Silver goes into it? How much one one fifty one? Everything's gonna be. It should be a half an ounce of everything, because it, it. And then those come. They should come in Collins glasses, like the, the long. Ones, yeah. yeah, the 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 the, the long tall. skinny ones. Yeah. That's, so you're that's looking a lot, at that's yeah, a lot. it should be a half an ounce of, of of each. But it's weird because it just tastes so great. Like you don't even you barely taste the alcohol. Well, depending on the bartender, but for the most part, you don't taste it too much, and it is wonderful. Yeah. And man, do you get fucked up. But yeah, so that those are mine. Those are my, uh, I guess my three top top three. So, kamikaze, mm-hmm. zombie. And a uh, uh, rum, and rum and coke, coke as, as the generic default. Yeah, that's my default. No shit. Now your turn. Now I'm on the spot. Um, I guess it depends on like what type of mood I'm in. Uh, if I'm looking to just get like effed up, trashed, and have a good time, I normally go to the Long Islands. Oh yeah. Which which is very similar. To to uh, uh, a zombie, anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, because the Long Island, you've got 
your vodka, tequila, gin, triple sec, um, your rum. So it basically has. It's almost the same. Minus putting like pineapple juice in the, the the pineapple juice uh and then uh, the 151 and stuff like that but those are strong too um so i if i really want to have a good time party it up long island is the way that i go um if i'm looking just like all right it's the afternoon like really not in a party mood but still want to get buzzed and cruise around or whatever jack and coke like how your default is a rum and coke like mine's a jack and coke I, I, I'm, I'm a whiskey fan um in which you like rum, so. Yep. Um, what the hell is this lady I don't get it. I don't get it. Hold on. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Where are you going? No? Bye. Oh, they're going right here. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. Oh, they got the red cups. They're already having a good time. Uh, yeah, so, like, my generic default A is the Jack and Coke. That's kind of like my... Uh, what do I want? Jack and Coke, that's fine. Alright. Um, now... Really? The crazy sh you see. Are people partying on uh, the side of the freeway? They can't wait? Bring me something! What the hell's going... What the hell's going on here? You seem flabbergasted. I am. Why the fuck are all these people on the side over here? I don't understand this. Is this party on the fucking freeway? Look at all There's this! More. More. What are you doing? And of course, traffic is because of that. Yeah. Because people are. Oh, oh, God down. damn it. Oh, God, hold on. We gotta roll up the windows now. I hate people. Why are people so stupid? They gotta see other people just sitting on the side of the fucking road. Oh, God. You know what? All those fails during your rant, the fucking background behind you is amazing. Yeah, that is beautiful. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Is that, okay, now I'm actually happy again. Uh -huh. So happy. So, um. Yeah, so to top off my third drink, so Long Island, Jack and Coke, like that's kind of like my, my generic default. Um. To top it off now, there's reasoning behind this one. And a lot of people don't like it, but there's reasoning behind why I drink uh -oh. it, okay? I need an explanation. So for here, it. <laughs> here we go. If I'm in the mood to play, okay, I want to sit down at a table or at a machine and actually like play play. Okay. Like actually get some playing time in. You don't want to get like completely trash. No, because then you lose all your money. Because <coughs> then you start playing stupid. Oh, and I'm recovering from a cold, so I sound like shit. Even though I got a cold and I sound like shit. What the fuck was that? Fuck it. Leave it in. Okay. That shit is fat. <laughs> um, you heard this beat 85 times. I was still freaking. And if you notice, my shit don't even rhyme. Um, look at that. <laughs> um. What was I saying? Yeah, so like, you don't want to get trashed. Like, I don't want to be at the blackjack table completely smashed because I'm going to be like, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> hey, hit me. And then, like, I'll be all messed up. But I still. Uh, excuse me, sir. You have 30, and uh, you already were out of the game. You can't hit. <laughs> yeah, like, you're not. You already lost all your money. For yeah. Okay. Exactly. Oh, God, we're going to die. Um,. So it's like, yeah, I don't want to be all trashed and like making stupid decisions, but you're in Vegas. So you still want to get that buzz, right? Of like, course. like you still want to get that buzz. So now if you were going to like want to get that buzz, say you were going to play, what would you drink? Well, if, I mean, if that was the case, I would actually either a, I would sip my rum and Cokes or I would go for a beer. Okay. I would go for a beer. So I'm not a huge beer fan. Like if you've seen anything on reckless eating, not a big beer fan. Um, so my resort to a Kahlua and milk. Hmm. Now, really? two reasonings behind that, okay? Kahlua has got a pretty decent alcohol volume. Yeah. Okay. So you get that buzz, and then with the milk, one, it's a nice drink that, that, that you can drink down, but two is the milk gets you full. Uh. So you're not going to be hungry. Um, you don't really have to pee as bad on milk as you would like anything else, like with the soda yeah, or anything your body like sucks that. It up. So Kahlua and milk, you get that buzz and get it on ice so it stays like nice and cold. So you get that buzz, you stay full, you don't have to get up and go pee. Cause like I've been at tables where I'm like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, but like shit's on fire and you're like you just don't wanna leave. So Kahlua and milk is what I go to like when I wanna play. 
And it makes sense, right? Like, yeah, yeah, it makes sense big time. I totally understand. Which you just brought, uh, you made me remember a drink that is so tasty that remember Justin introduced or Static introduced it to uh, all of the guys. A white and Russian. It was the what was it? The white Russian with something. Remember, it was a white Russian with something that made it taste like chocolate milk. You remember at Old Man Tom's wedding? Uh, it was a white Russian with something or without something. It was one of those two. I don't remember. Which I'm going to have to ask him because that was like an amazing drink. Yeah. So we're running on like 12 minutes right now. So we're going to shut this episode off because we've been rambling on. But yeah, so from Mike, you got his, uh, the, the rum and cokes. Uh, you've got a kamikaze and a zombie, uh, which all really good drinks if you haven't tried them. Definitely go out and try the zombie first. Um, rum and Coke, if you're a rum fan, uh, that's a pretty basic drink. Kamikaze, really good. It's good as a shot, too. Like, if you want to kick your night off, uh, just get a kamikaze shot. That's good. Uh, and then for me, you've got the, the, the Long Island Jack and Coke and uh, Kahlua and Milk. So, uh, there's six drinks right there. If you haven't tried any of them, go out and try them. It's fun. It's probably getting too dark in here that you probably won't be able to see me. Um, boom. There's the light! Um, <laughs> so, yeah, like... Go ahead and try those out, uh, and and yeah, if you're ever in Vegas, you'll be thinking about this video if you've seen it. You're like, oh shit. Now that I think about it, I just thought of something. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come up with my own drink. I bet it's already been made. Probably. No, but I, I want to make I want to make a drink called a Havoc. Okay. I don't know what's in it yet, though. I need, right. to, I need to make my own variation. Well, I, I could totally help you out with that. Yeah, like, I'm going mean, mean, to need your help I, I, seeing that you're going through all the classes. I, yeah. It's going to be lots of rum and stuff, and I will figure this out. So right. there will be a Havoc drink. You heard it here first on KPTV, right here on YouTube.com backslash we don't remember what the URL is. Um, that's actually not what it is, so don't go type that in. Actually, go type it in and see what pops up. Maybe fun. Be pretty interesting. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. Stay tuned. More Vegas road trip stories with Sean and Mike.